a very good morning class 9th we are back to the chemistry lab with the next practical which is a physical change to be observed in the chemical lab you will require test tubes and this thick test tube is called as the boiling tube which is a thicker one you have copper sulfate crystals which are blue in color these are the blue crystals that we are talking about this is what we need to use and you will require a burner and some water which can be added through a dropper my student suhani hi suhani will be doing this practical demonstration for all the ninth class students so let's begin with the practical now she will be taking the boiling tube to which she will add a pinch or two of copper sulfate crystals so she's taken two pinches of this copper sulfate blue colored crystals and now she will start to heat them so she'll clamp it up in the test tube holder and then she would start heating them on the burner she's heating them you can observe the changes can you see you can see the water vapors being released from the top of the tube have a look the water vapors it is full of water vapors and we can see the vapors escaping through the tube and the bottom you can see the blue color is changing to white let us continue to heat till all the blue and you can see the droplets can you see the droplets here the water from these crystals moves up and it condenses there and you can see the droplets and this is turning to white let's see what is happening now she'll continue to heat so that the total amount of water gets removed you can see the inner side of the test tube which is turning white because the copper sulfate is losing its water molecules a little amount of blue is left and it is totally turning into white solid as you can observe because the loss of water molecules on copper sulfate makes it absolutely white and the water is escaping as vapors through the upper end of the tube this is the state of the copper sulfate after you have heated it completely let me see the inside so you can see the total amount of copper sulfate crystals has now turned to white because of the loss of water now we will try to add water to it through a dropper have a close look she is now taking water through the dropper and she will add just a drop of water into this blue colored changed white crystals of copper can you see the transformation of blue color add another drop swani add to the other side of the tube see it is slowly changing to blue as it gets wet so it is a physical change because the loss of water led to white color and readdition of water gives you back the blue colored copper sulfate crystals so this comes under the category of a physical change which you study in class 9th and it is the water of crystallization topic which we study in class 10th we are talking about the physical change which happens in this process and the effect of heat on copper sulfate crystals these are copper sulfate crystals with five water molecule so the name is copper sulfate pentahydrate and these are blue in color as you saw them here now when you heat these crystals the reaction goes forward and you end up in again cuso4 but this time it is a white powder and amorphous on top of it because there is a loss of water which i have shown by the arrow upwards because water was observed into the tubes upper end now if you add water to it the reaction moves backward and on moving backward you get back your copper sulfate 5h2o which is again blue crystals fine so this is the lab demonstration for physical change in class 9 and for class 10 it was water of crystallization topic in your chapter number 1 thank you have a good day hope you understood the topic do well in life keep safe keep healthy bye